It is the PGA Tours version of March Madness, and it hits the Lone Star State as the season-long race for the FedEx Cup continues, and we preview the World Golf Championship's Dell Technologies match play in Austin, Texas. John Swantek with Sean Martin. The origin of the game, its roots are in match play. The players, I think they dig it. They don't get much of a taste of it, but it energizes them, doesn't it? Definitely. We see stroke play so many weeks. I think they love the change in format and just being competitors themselves. They love the idea of going head to head with each other, butting heads, looking their opponent in the eyes and a little bit of gamesmanship possibly. So I think Definitely a welcome change and exciting week on the PGA Tour. The top 16 seeds were positioned in 16 different groups. Three additional players were added on Monday night during a blind draw. You like this shift that we've had in the format the last couple of years? I think so, and I think the players do too. And you look, this is the third year of pool play. Rory won in 2015, Jason Day won last year. You can't ask for better champions. And I think guys like that they know they'll be here for three days. They know they'll play Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, instead of that one and done where you might fly from across the globe and then get ejected in the first round and you're gone. So I think that predictability of it, guys like. Jason Day comes in as the defending champion, yep. trying to join Tiger, who did it back in 03 and 04, uh, as the only players to go back to back in this championship. Yeah, and Jason already joins Tiger as the only person to win this championship multiple times. So I think obviously well suited for the format, very competitive. Uh, a place like Austin Country Club helps when you can hit the ball as long and as far as he does. There's a lot of risk reward holes on the back nine that he can take advantage of with his length. So he's well suited. Uh, for this course. He did say last week, not very confident in his game right now, still kind of easing into the season, hasn't played a ton. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see where he's at with his game in, in a very important week. Rory's got 22 wins uh, in this championship. Yep. He's 11-2-1 and one, uh, since we went to pool play a couple of years ago. Yeah, I think it'd be easy to say that, uh, you know, growing up in Northern Ireland, Great Britain, they, uh, they play so much match play. It's like you said, fabric of the game. Uh, maybe chalk it up to that. Also, Rory's just very good. Uh, him and Louis Oosthuizen, only players to make it out of pool play both years. We've had this format, and again, I think like Jason, a place like Austin Country Club, those 360-yard drives down the middle that we saw last year, uh, they'll play anywhere, but they do play especially well in Austin. Louis Oosthuizen uh, went to the final match last year. He's in a uh, group with uh, the FedEx Cup points leader, Hideki Matsuyama, so it's a tough uh, early draw for Hideki. Uh, what other groups sort of caught your attention earlier this week? I think group one, I think yeah. the ping pong balls did no favors for <laughs> Dustin Johnson. He's got three other major champions uh, in his pool. Jimmy Walker, who won a major last year, as did Dustin. Uh, Martin Keimer, a very tough competitor, and then Webb Simpson, who you know, has struggled with the putter change a little bit, but he almost beat Hideki in Phoenix this year. So, you know, a very strong group there. Maybe our group of death, if you want to use that term. Dustin Johnson is the number one overall seed. Uh, I really was caught by how strong group seven is. That's Sergio Garcia. Uh, that's John Rahm, his countryman from Spain. That's Kevin Chappell. Uh, and it's uh, Shane Lowry. We're going to see Garcia and Rahm at uh, one of the first uh, three days. It's going to be terrific. Chappell's a tough customer, Sean. Six yep. times a runner-up on the, the PGA Tour. Lowry he bounced Rory back in the desert earlier in this competition. He did. Uh, tough, tough competitor there. Kevin Chappell gave Jason Day all he could handle at, uh, at Bay Hill and, and at the players. And so, you know, obviously a, a tough competitor looking for his first win. And, of course, the Spanish Armada, uh, John Rahm, very fun to watch. Reminds us of what we saw from Sergio almost two decades ago. So everybody gets uh, three matches. They're guaranteed of that. Once we get to single elimination, who is a uh, dark horse we should keep our eye on this week? I'm going to go with Tommy Fleetwood, the <laughs> Englishman. Again, you know, we can say they play match play a ton over there in Europe growing up. And he's playing so well this year. He beat Dustin Johnson in Abu Dhabi and then gave Dustin all he could handle at the WGC Mexico Championship. Having a great year, and I think it continues uh, in Austin. Thomas Peters caught my eye when he shot 63 in the final round at Riviera. That is where he was also the NCAA individual champion yep. at Riviera. You remember that year. Oh, yeah. I was there. Uh, a lot of people were speaking the praises of Thomas Peters. You know, you got to say, let's say, wait and see, you know, if this guy's going to pan out. So many great players don't necessarily make it in the pros, but Thomas Peters has fulfilled all of the promise that people saw for him when he was playing at Illinois. Okay, Sunday evening, who's going to be the last man standing from this field of 64? What you got? I'm going to go Jordan Spieth, easy pick. The uh, you know second home for him It's the only place he's lived besides Dallas. He's played Austin Country Club when he was at the University of Texas, made it out of pool play last year. And just a, a great match play competitor, only player other than Tiger to win two U.S. Junior Amateurs. That was a long time ago, but there is something to match play, and I think 
Jordan's you know, gritty mentality, how much he loves to just compete against guys, I think that will shine through uh, this week. In that same group is Ryan Moore, of yep. whom Spieth said if you were to compile a list of the top five toughest competitors in the field, Ryan Moore would be on a lot of people's list here this week. I mean, week. he gave Rory all he could handle yeah. at the Tour Championship last year. They went down to the wire. It was basically match play in that four-hole sudden death playoff, and Ryan, also a three-time USGA uh, champion, a U.S. amateur champion, um, a guy who's had success in this event, not the longest hitter, but keeps it in play, just very consistent. And those are the guys who can be hard to play because they're waiting for you to make a mistake. They're always in the hole. And so once you make a mistake, they pounce on it and they capitalize. Wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the World Golf Championship's Dell Technologies match play from Austin, Texas this week. PGA Tour Live has you covered Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with a start time of 10:15 Eastern and also Golf Channel and, of course, NBC Sports covering all five days of competition with 550 points going to the winner in the race for the FedEx Cup.